Inflatables. I love them. There's a whole bunch of strange ones on the table, but I have in the past collected quite sensible ones like this giant ape, Miss Jeffrey, and a big Smirnoff bottle. And of course, you can have inflatable beds and beach balls and balloons and a lot. But these ones are all wacky ones. For instance, have you ever come across an inflatable dartboard? No? Well, here is one. Put it on the wall. This bit's safe, but here is an air cell all the way around holding it rigid. And if the dart hits that, and the darts are sharp, 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 they'll puncture it. Well, fortunately, they do provide a puncture repair outfit, so you can start repairing it. But after the first round, you've probably got two or three repairs to make, glue to set, and ten minutes later, you can start the second round. I think it's going to take a, a long evening before you manage to finish your game of darts with an inflatable dartboard. <laughs> About the same time as I got that, I also found this very bizarre thing, which is an inflatable pen or barrow or floppy. They fortunately and thoughtfully provide a little blower, so you insert it in it and then blow it up. A few little puffs and you've got a fairly rigid body which does help to hold it in the hand. There they are. Yes, that's very firm. The problem is, when it comes to putting the barrow away, you've got to <laughs> deflate it before put it in your pocket. Oh, well, that's some. Inflatable maracas, would you believe? Blow it up when you're going to a gig and... <laughs> There's seeds inside the balloon, so you can... When you finish the gig, you just push the button, put it in your pocket and go home. <laughs> There's greeting cards here, which I like very much indeed. They're very flat and will go to the posts extremely easily. Flap, flap, flap. But on the bottom of them, they have a place to put a message on. And when they're inflated, they look like this, which is just charming. That sits on your mantelpiece at Christmas time, but with a place for the message underneath. A child's version of an umbrella, inflatable, would you believe? And very clever touch this, they make the handle into a pump. I think it's got an air leak somewhere or other, but... Um, Perhaps I'll keep this for a rainy day, perhaps. <laughs> I also had a go a few years ago making myself an inflatable yo-yo. This is actually a child's sort of um, weightlifting thing, dumbbells. But with a bit of effort you can just about make it do a bit of a yo and a bit of a yo and half a yo there and that's about all it does. But the idea is quite a, quite a sweet one. Bath toys, there's a lot of them around, but this one's a very poignant one. It's Titanic. It had a place for a motor underneath. Rather thoughtfully, again, um, they did provide an inflatable iceberg to go with it. So you have to blow up the iceberg and put that in the bath. <laughs> and now you can reenact the tragic scene. Titanic hitting the iceberg. <laughs> Here's a very strange idea. American and very clever. To deflate it, you just push the little black piece like this. But to inflate it, you don't need a blower. The actual blower is this piece here. You just do it by repeatedly pushing and releasing, pushing and releasing with the finger. And I can hear a little pumping action, and this thing then pumps up very nicely into quite a firm, hard ball, which will bounce beautifully. I've never seen anything quite like it since, since, since I came across this, I think about 10 years ago in New York. And that bounces on the table very nicely, but to deflate it, just push the little button at the top and it goes into your pocket. Clever one. A Stein, a German, with the Bavarian flag, of course, and it's inflatable. You can put it in your pocket flat, you blow it up like this. I thought when I first put some, some, some uh, beer in it, there might have been a slight leak on the inside, which would help, of course, because if there was a leak on the inside, it would make some more air and that would add some, some head to the beer. A bit of fun, anyway. Then a little more sensibly there are some beach toys, but here's a particularly pretty one which I love. It's got a series of little Fresnel lenses all the way on the outside, and when you light it up from behind, you get the fantastic effects here. So every one of the little tiny sub facets is a Fresnel or Fresnel lens, and you get some wonderful optical effects from it. But it's a beach ball to play with as well. A much more bizarre beach ball is this one here, which is a most peculiar material. I don't know what it is quite. It's a kind of um, 
rubber but it's plastic and it's got a funny little feel to it. It blows up very nicely and does behave. What I like about it though is when you finish the game and here's another one which has been deflated, you can go into the sea and use this as a bathing cap. That's a nice idea, isn't it? <laughs> then there's a whiz ring, the old frisbee. Inflated, there's two cells. Of, this one's been inflated. This one I'll leave slightly deflated because it works better with a, with a, 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 with a, 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 a partly inflated interior to it. But it does sort of very nice to the air. Another one I've made and had for many years is one which you can do in the dark. You put a little torch inside it and light it up. And then if it's fairly dark outside, you can actually see that. It's sort of too light in the studio, but we can see a good light in there when it's blown up. And Jeffrey's going to have a banana to finish off with, I think, probably, aren't you, dear? Yeah, OK. Well, my last inflatable is something I can't really fit in my, um, in my small apartment, but it's something I saw in the paper and feel I'd love to see it. It's an inflatable church. Whatever next. From inflatable dartboards to inflatable churches. That's inflatables. Mm -hmm.